Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So in this video, we will implement the final thing that is nothing but applying the animations through routing. So we have already applied the animations through routing. So which we have used something like for user space. So here we have written this all route animation state with the host binding. We have written it right. So there is also another feature which we can implement this uh, routing animations through the query. So let's try to implement this one. So this is the easy method. Let's try to see for this one. What we can do is so let's go to the app routing here. I am moving to the app routing dot module dot ts here. Let's say that we are having only two routes. So these are all normal routes which we have did in our previous videos. So I will try to apply animations to these two routes. So here we can have a data. So this is up to you. So data is the variable which you can pass the data through the activated route. And here I am using the I am passing the animation and this one is something like a home page. So I can write it as a home page and the another one which we want to send it is the data. So which is an uh, what I can say animation. This one is a user page, right? So I can write it as an user page. So like this, you can write the data, whichever the data you want to pass it, you can write it. Now we have this animation. So this one. So we need to catch this one in the router outlet. Let's go to the app component. So now in every routing we have in every component we have written in the routing, right? So this time there is no need to write and write this. So here we can catch it through the router outlet. Here I will catch it something like variable, whatever the thing you want, you can write it router outlet. So is equal to so this is of type outlet. Normally we use in the ng forms, right? Uh, so hash form is equal to of type ng form like that. We can write the router outlet. And here I am binding the trigger state. So that is nothing but route state. I will use the route state. This is nothing but trigger state. We'll try to create this one. And in this one, what I will try to do is so here I will create a get animation route or get animation data of I will pass the route outlet. So like this, I am passing the route outlet. Now here we have used the route outlet, which is of type template reference, which is of type outlet. And here I am passing the router or route state and I'm calling the method. So here we will be sending the state data. So here we need to catch the these all module, the these all the data, whichever the data is there that is passed through the route through the activated route. So that is the reason I am passing it like this. Now get animation data here. Let's go to the app component.ts file. So here I will be going to the app component.ts file. Here I will be writing this code. Get animation data. And here we are getting the outlet, right? So this is of type router outlet. So this is of type router outlet. Now I am writing it like this. Now here you will be able to see that GitHub Copilot has written all the code. So we'll write right one by one by our own. Now let's let me save this one. So if you try to see the output, so up to so far nothing happened. So we will try to comment out this animate things. So it is looking somewhat uh, odd, right? I will remove this box LM animation. Yeah, here from here to here, I will comment it out in this video. In the previous video, we will be, it will be there. Now in the app component, yes, first we need to get the activated route. So constant route data. So let's try to get the route data. It will be present in the outlet dot activated route data. Okay, activated route data and you'll be having an animation. So this is the key name which we are trying to pass it through the module.ts file animation. Now here you can write something like if not of route data, if not of route data, it should be data, not date. If not of route data is there means then we will be returning the home page. Okay. So we will return home page. Okay. Home page. So this is the home page. So that means default animation. We need to do it. So here the home page I am trying to return or otherwise what I will try to return is I will return the route data. Okay. So that's it. So we are not using any page or anything. If you want, you can also use the page in between that one. You can use the key property page like that if you want to send multiple data. So fine. We got the route data and we have attached it to that one. The state we have attached it. Now we need to write the animations. So here let's try to write the animations animations of so we need to write a trigger. So trigger of what is the trigger we need to write here. I have created a route state, right? So this is the trigger name. So use the same trigger name here route state and this trigger should be imported in the angular animations. Let us import it and here we need to write the animation for this one. 
so here for, for writing the animation so transition if you want you can use home page to about page home page to user page like this so if you have a different types of animations means you can write it like this so right now i will keep it as a generic one so here i will be creating start to start any state to state if it is changing so here i will write the code so this transition also should be imported and i will be using the query method so query of enter so when it is entering this query also should be imported from the angular animations fine so when this query in enter is there so here we need to write the code so here i will be writing style of so opacity 0 so first time when it is entering opacity should be 0 sorry comma and we'll be having a transform of translate y of minus 100 percent or otherwise anything whatever thing you want you can give it and this is the thing we finished and afterwards we need to animate of 300 fine right so we have implemented this one so now when it is leaving so we need to know right when it is leaving so query of leaving query of leaving leaving is there so here i can write the animation of three percent not three percent sorry animation of three uh, animation of 300 milliseconds opacity zero and i can use the same transform transform of translate y of 100 percent so like this we will be writing so that's it so now we have implemented the query animate these all things i have implemented now we can write an uh, third optional we know right so uh, it is a object optional true and the same thing we need to write it here also where uh, object optional true fine so we have written the optional true so this is the animation we have did it and we have applied this animation to here also let's see whether we are able to see the animation or not if i click on this one see we are able to see the animation right if i click on the users so this this is the animation we are able to see it so now what it is happening here is if you try to see here first the enter is applying and the leave is applying afterwards so the both the animation should appear at a time so that means what i can do is i will wrap this all the things in a group okay so i will wrap this all the things in a group so that all the animations will be appeared parallelly so that means this enter and leave so where is up to where this enter is there yeah here and this leave is also there right so i will apply both the things in a group now let's see whether we can able to see the animation correctly or not if i click on the users now hopefully this one is working fine i am thinking if i click on the users see both the animations are working parallelly so like this we need to implement it so this is how we will be implementing the uh, what i can say routing animation for example let's say that um, these both the things are applying parallel right what about the animations that we have written in our previous videos the route animations we have written the host binding right so if i want to apply those things also then what we need to do is so here we need to up use the method animate child so if you try to use this animate child both the animations will be appeared now if you see here see the child animation will be appeared first and afterwards this enter and leave animation will appear so if you try to see here so this uh, some weird type of behavior you will be able to see both the child animation is appearing and also the so opacity will be applied sorry opacity not opacity so here at the bottom you'll be able to see so like this it will be able to see so some weird type of things so i'm trying to explain you about the child also if you are having another animation in the child and you want to apply the child animation also we can use this animate child method if you don't want this one means automatically the animation will be overridden by the parent now this is the animation which we are trying to do it and here we can write some simple code we can do it but here i have written some basic thing which i want to explain it to you so like this we parallelly we can apply it so this is all about the animations how we can do it for the routing thing so i will commit this all the code in our create new branch video hyphen 52 video hyphen 52 and i will commit this all the code so i will so routing animation routing animation that's it guys so here will i will commit this all the code so whoever may be having a doubts or anything so they can, if you want to get get this code so you can refer to my angular animations github repository url the link is provided in the description below of this video so whatever the video you're trying to watch in this angular animation playlist you can go to that particular branch uh, and video branch and you can uh, refer to the code which i have explained you on that video 
So this is all about the route animation, routing animation. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.